Good morning, traders. This is Bruce at Veloxpro. If you can hear me and see my screen, can you just type yes in the questions and we'll get started. All right. Okay. Yeah, thanks, guys. Okay. Excellent. Let's get going. Okay. So uh, we're going to look at the live markets and uh, go through the order flow uh, in Bookmap. Uh, risk disclaimer, a trading futures and options on futures involves substantial risk of loss is not suitable for all investors. Past performance is not indicative of future results. For more information, go to bookmap.com. Uh, if you want to learn about the product, uh, become a member there and you have access to a lot of the free resources. A lot of those resources are in the handouts folder that you'll find right there in the, the GoToWebinar uh, software. So uh, uh, if you open that up uh, and you take a look, you'll see that there is a, um, a user guide for 5.0, the Bookmap 5.0 beta. And uh, you also see the uh, Bookmap HFT uh, intro guide. Uh, and um, highly recommend uh, taking a look at that and understanding how these markets trade today uh, if you are unfamiliar with the HFT environment. Uh, and then uh, I also include now the uh, CME Rule 575 uh, PDF because a lot of the things there, I mean, this is uh, uh, current and topical. Uh, a lot of the uh, order flow that we're going to see uh, relate very much to that document. And we can see uh, what exactly what they're talking about in that document. And a lot of that is now considered, um, well, they're trying to figure it out in some cases, but a lot of it is illegal behavior. Uh, and um, uh, not uh, going to say that uh, what you're going to see, like in some of the spoofing uh, type of action or flipping of the book type of action, uh, if it's illegal or not. But I do want to show that phenomena because Bookmap... Uh, can very easily um, uh, show that and uh, display that. And it doesn't have to be on the millisecond level. We'll, we'll see it in a five minute chart and we'll see it in a 30 minute chart or an hour chart. Uh, we see it all the time, okay? So anyway, um, if you have any uh, questions, uh, you can reach out to us at support at veloxpro.com. Uh, and uh, uh, if you wanna give uh, Bookmap a try, uh, you can go here to the uh, pricing tab, and uh, you can see that there's a 30% uh, a discount on Bookmap. Um, three days left, so uh, uh, take a look at that if you're interested.H there is a 14-day um, trial period here, okay? So uh, you can uh, you can try it out and see if you like it. Uh, and uh, and then uh, after the trial, there's uh, two versions here. You have the basic and the advanced, okay? So uh, 49 per month for the basic, 99 per month for the advanced. It is billed quarterly. Uh, and the uh, distinction between the two uh, primarily is this one-click trading, being able to trade from the bookmap chart. Okay, we also have um, uh, a lot of other add-ons here as well. Uh, and um, uh, we'll, we'll go through um, many of them uh, throughout the week uh, in, the, uh, in the webinar series. Uh, quants and prop shops can uh, contact us here if you have some sort of uh, special uh, need uh, or custom solution. So um, let us know. Uh, and um, let's see, the um, uh, a lot of the free uh, resources I spoke about, they'll be under the members area here. Okay, you'll need to sign up. Uh, you can register for future webinars here. Uh, I believe right now we just have, if you click on that link, uh, there's just uh, one, and that is the current one that you're in. All right. Uh, and then uh, under this education tab, this is where you'll find all the recorded webinars. So click on that link, and uh, up pops um, a bunch of the uh, recorded webinars, starting with the, the last one that we had. Okay. So yesterday was a holiday. Uh, so the previous webinar was on Friday. And uh, we um, uh, this was for... Uh, this was from uh, uh, Daniel uh, Skalak, and uh, uh, this was during the professional uh, trader webinar series. Uh, we had a trader uh, each day last week present, uh, and I'll, I'll give you the uh, playlist. I'll put it into the chat box there for you. Okay, so um, in fact, uh, let me go there now. Okay. 
Okay. And you can see uh, all the different uh, webinars that we had here, uh, and you'll be able to access them in the playlist. They are all here uh, as well, uh, but uh, from the drop down up above here in the playlist. Right, so you can see here we have uh, Daniels on Friday, and then Thursday we had Jason Love. On uh, uh, Tuesday we had uh, Ferran Font uh, Remental. Uh, I'm sorry, Wednesday. On Tuesday we had uh, FT71, and uh, on Monday we had uh, Met Day. All right. Okay. Uh, also, uh, would encourage you to watch as many of these video snippets as you can. It just goes through the um, uh, order flow phenomena that we can see in Bookmap in a very concise way. Uh, just a couple minutes each video, uh, but uh, if you can digest that information, you're going to see it again and again in the uh, Bookmap chart. All right. Okay. So uh, learning the order flow in Bookmap. All right. Um, we. Um, I'm going to start off with a quick review here, uh, since there are a lot of new traders in this room. Uh, we're going to go through this quickly, though. I'm not going to uh, delve into uh, uh, a deeper analysis of this, um, but uh, unless you guys have questions, then I'd be happy to. Right? I mean, this this webinar is for you. Okay. Um, so uh, any questions that you have, uh, please let me know. Uh, and we're going to. What basically though, we're going to look at some of the uh, higher levels of interest uh, on higher time frames. Our levels of interest. All right. Um, and, uh, and then we're going to look at the, uh, what the book looks like, uh, understand that microstructure, and we're going to put the two together. Okay? This is what everyone did last week. Uh, all, all of the traders, uh, professional traders uh, that we, uh, we had present last week, they're all looking at their higher levels. Okay? Now, you can scalp using Bookmap and very, very effectively. Okay? But um, you can see that the majority of the traders um, they are looking at higher time frames and then looking to the microstructure and the order flow in Bookmap. Okay, that allows them to pinpoint their entries and exits in their trade management. Okay, we saw uh, all of the traders do that. Uh, and um, uh, we'll take a look at our, um, uh, our our higher levels here, but let me just go through and review what you're looking at first in Bookmap. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to take off all of the um, information here or data, okay? And uh, we're going to just start with this very simple view here. All right? We have an indicator panel down here as well, but um, we're going to even hide that, okay? So what are we looking at here, okay? We have three different sections, okay? This section here. Uh, is this the historical best bid and offer? That's it. Okay. Uh, so, and you can see here, I have uh, quite quite a bit of data here. This is the 9:30 open here in the S&P E mini, and it's currently um, 11, uh, almost 11:10. All right. So, a lot of data here, and it's just the historical best bid and offer going back and forth. Okay. And then you can see in this window here, this uh, uh, very elongated window. Um, uh, we have the best bid and offer at the moment. Okay, this is the current best bid and offer. This number here is the last traded volume on the best bid or offer. Okay, uh, and then you can see the price ladder here. Uh, and then uh, we have many different columns here to look at. We're just going to focus on the COB, which is the current order book column, and that's it. Okay. Uh, unless you guys have questions about some of these data columns over here, volume, trade columns, quotes columns, whatever. Uh, but uh, you can see we actually have two COB columns here. This is your dome in Bookmap. Okay, let me zoom in a little bit and we can make this a little bit bigger. Um, and um, uh, what this is showing here is uh, here you have your best bid and offer right here uh, with these two boxes. Uh, and then you have your depth on the offer up to this white line. And then you have your depth on the bid down to this white line here. Okay, that's it. All right. Uh, and uh, the the CO the other COB column I have here is just a graphical representation of these numeric values in the dome. Okay. All right. Okay. So uh, that's all we're looking at here uh, in Bookmap. Uh, pretty pretty straightforward. Pretty stripped down. All right, now let me add on the volume dots. 
Okay. Now what we're looking at here uh, is the traded volume that took place on the best bidder offer. Okay, a historical view. Okay, so you can see exactly where the where the transaction took place, what type of trade was it, uh, and uh, how much traded, and uh, and the overall delta, the um, uh, buyers versus the sellers, and you can see that very clearly here. I mean, so many trades took place here, but we can see that the overall delta here. Uh, there's uh, quite a few more sellers than there are buyers, all right? Uh, but um, uh, we don't aggregate our data, okay? This is all, it's just a, a, a convenient view uh, when we um, uh, take a look here uh, and we can see the, the overall uh, with this current view, okay? Now, if I click on this hand tool, hover over this area and use my center mouse wheel to scroll in, you're going to see how we just uh, visually aggregate that. But there's a lot more trading activity that really occurred here. Okay? And we can show you the details here. All right? look, I mean, look at them hit the bid here uh, very, very aggressively. All right? We're going to zoom in further. And now you can understand, okay, we're looking at just millisecond level here. Now we can continue on. Uh, and we can look at uh, uh, microsecond level and uh, even nanosecond levels here. Right? But uh, I'm just going to uh, zoom out, and uh, we're showing you it's not aggregated data. Okay, it's uh, uh, you can see everything that took place here, every single of uh, discrete market event. All right, uh, but you can see we visually aggregate that when we zoom out, so it it gives you the overall uh, understanding of what occurred in this area. All right, okay, so uh, very much like a footprint chart here. What we're looking at is a graphical representation of the uh, uh, traded volume, not the numeric, okay, uh, that you would see in a footprint chart. Okay, so so now now we've just added on the uh, traded volume. Now we're going to add on the heat map. Okay, so what I'm looking at now is a grayscale heat map. Okay, what this represents here uh, is the um, uh, liquidity uh, in the market. So let me explain. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here, and uh, we're going to we're going to go back to our COB column here. Okay, our depth here on the uh, on the bid and our depth on the ask. Right, these numeric values here, we're we're painting it in this live market window here. Okay, with the best bid and offer and the last traded volume. Okay, we're painting it a grayscale. So this 1721 here is reflected with this brightness uh, in the grayscale. Okay, you can see here that 1572 is it's a little darker. All right, so um, uh, therefore, uh, you, you know, the the numeric value is less, the grayscale is less. Okay? That this, you know, the market's being made all day long, and and uh, uh, liquidity levels change um, dramatically all, all day long. Okay, but we we re record this data. Uh, and um, uh, you, you'll see the grayscale change here, uh, and then uh, it's reflected though in the, on the historical chart. Okay, so as I zoom in, we just saw this number change quite a, quite a bit here, and and this is what it looks like. Okay, it got brighter, and then it got darker. Okay, that is the adding and pulling of liquidity. All right, and that's all this is. Okay, so this grayscale. Uh, now, where it gets interesting uh, is uh, I zoom out, and now I can understand the um, the depth of market historically. Okay, I can see where they're bidding and where they're offering. Okay, where they were before, are they still interested? Uh, how the market behaves when um, a price approaches them? Do they still want to line up and buy at these levels or sell at these levels? Okay. All right. So that's the review. Uh, and um, uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, happy to go through it. Uh, the the grayscale is um, you're able to change it. This is not a set and forget uh, type of tool. Uh, you will need to change your um, uh, some of your cutoff uh, white and black cutoff here uh, because uh, the liquidity always changes. The picture is always different. All right, so uh, all of a sudden you might see two or three thousand contracts come into an area. 
right? It's going to blow out the heat map in reference because it's going to be 2,000 contracts compared to, you know, 15 or 1,400, right? So um, uh, you, you can adjust for that, right? And it doesn't take much. It's a, a little tweak here and there uh, with some of these settings. Uh, and um, and you'll get a feel for uh, what it is that uh, uh, you like in, in, in your view. And uh, it just takes a second, and then you're back. All right. So um, uh, that's the uh, the heat map. Uh, and um, uh, let's see here. All right. Uh, a couple of questions. Okay, we have a... Uh, yeah, uh, question uh, Gunther on the uh, cumulative uh, volume delta here uh, and uh, HFT calculator. Um, so uh, I'm not, I don't have any details on the HFT calculator. Um, so uh, not not sure what to tell you there. Uh, but the uh, cumulative volume delta is available for um, both basic and advanced uh, versions uh, of Bookmap. Uh, you'll get it, okay, and you'll find it under this tool up here. Okay, the AP, API add-ons configuration. Uh, so you can see that uh, we now have uh, this indicator panel. Uh, and this indicator, what we're doing is we're, we're showcasing uh, our new API to you. Okay, so you have the capability to write uh, your own indicators within Bookmap. Okay, uh, the benefit is you're going to be able to see your custom indicator within the heat map here and have the context of uh, uh, the, uh, the auction process as well as that traded volume. All right. Okay, so um, I think that answers your question, Gunther. Uh, let's see here. How do I get in two columns? Okay, uh, so um, adding more columns here, uh, you can add as many as you like. So you just uh, right click in a column Okay, and uh, click insert a new column, or you can hide it. Okay, now let's insert one, and, and to the right pops a, a new column that is a duplicate from where I came from. Okay, and then right click again, and you can see the different types of data I have available here. Okay, so I have the current order book, I have a volume profile, I have a trades counter profile, a quotes counter profile, and a quotes delta, as well as uh, custom notes and, uh, and cloud notes here. All right. Um, okay, and you can format those columns. So click on format and you'll have the, the uh, different options here to, you know, split out your data, inverse the split, uh, bars, bars and numbers, numbers only, uh, extended, not extended, you know, just show the bid or just show the ask, you know, and, uh, and, and the justification of it too. So uh, you want to justify it to the right, left, whatever, okay. And let me hide that one. Okay. Uh, let's see, Carl, you're not able to get CVD 13. Um, okay. Uh, I'll go over that uh, in just a minute. Yeah, that's the same question Luigi has. Okay. Uh, I have no idea. I think you should. Um, uh, you're talking about Futures Trader 71 and his settings uh, for the CVD in different markets. Uh, you're, you you probably have to reach out to uh, to him. Okay. Uh, I'm I'm really not sure exactly what his settings are for those different markets. All right. Okay. Uh, let's see here. Um, okay. So. Uh, now let, let's take a look at our, our, our higher time frames here uh, and just start to, uh, to map out um, some areas of interest and, and what the order flow is going to look like in some of those areas of interest. Okay, so you can see the strong day to day on a 30 minute chart. And um, uh, let's uh, zoom out a little bit. All right, I mean you can see very strong uptrend uh, for several days. Uh, and uh, we could put a trend line in there, we should. And you can see how nicely it's holding, even the, the aggressive trend line here. All right. Uh, and they're still buying. All right. So um, 
Uh, let's take a look at a five-minute chart and uh, what kind of insight can we get here? Okay, what is the order flow going to look like in some of my specific areas of interest? Okay, I can put in a small trend line just for uh, today uh, and uh, a couple horizontal lines uh, in this area. Uh, also, I'm, I'm very curious in this area here. You can see the pause and then the extension. Okay, so uh, uh, this is where they started to buy yet again at 59. And um, yep, we can also put something up here around the, uh, the highs. And volume profile, we're going to see more. This is going to be um, a nice edge, as we can see here. Uh, so I'm also interested in maybe a retracement to this area right here. Uh, so 63, the, the highs, uh, and uh, 59, and then all the way back down to uh, where it opened, or uh, around there, 54. Okay, so let's let's uh, we we can put in some uh, some lines here with the new um, uh, pen tool uh, in uh, in Bookmap, and let's put in some uh, some vertical lines, or I'm I'm sorry, some horizontal lines here. All right, so uh, uh, we're looking at our 64 area, okay, 64 and a half. Uh, let's put in another one, and uh, we were looking at 59. Now, what is it? 59 and a quarter, okay, down here, okay, and uh, and what else? Uh, 54 and a half or so. All right, okay, uh, there we go. Uh, so, um, yeah, let's take a look and see what the order flow looks like at some of those areas. Okay. All right, and um, I, I, we're gonna we're gonna look at the order flow, uh, and we're gonna analyze some of these areas um, in a very specific way. All right, uh, and uh, let me uh, make the indicator panel a little smaller, and let's zoom here. Okay, so for understanding the order flow, uh, what is it that um, uh, I, I want to look at here? Okay, I want to look at the current configuration of the book. All right, we're showing up to the market here. It's an auction, uh, and now we can really understand this this auction process in Bookmap because uh, we're we're looking at it not only in real time but historically. All right, so what what is the current configuration? Where were they lining up before, and where are they now uh, lining up uh, to 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 deal? Uh, and then the uh, second question is, uh, how does the book behave when price approaches these areas? Uh, and then overall, uh, what is the tape, the traded volume telling us? Where do the transactions actually take place? Okay, okay coming down into our 59 area, all right, uh, and um, uh, just hitting it now. Okay, and uh, let's take a look at the uh, the book. All right, L looking pretty dark here. Uh, well, let me uh, let me adjust it then. All right, let's bring up the white cutoff. I bring it down, okay, and I'm not seeing much at all. Okay, now they're starting to get interested. Okay, a little bit below. All right, okay. So current configuration. What do I mean by that? Okay, where are the buyers and sellers lining up? Okay, the majority of them currently, right now at the moment, we're looking at this 57 and a half. That's where they want to buy. Okay, after this drop. Uh, and they're now here at 59 on the opposite side. They broke through our level, and uh, they're on the other side selling now. Okay, so a very very tight range at the moment uh, after this breakdown. And you can see, um, we can see here uh, uh, how the market behaved as price came down into these areas. Okay, so current configuration very simple uh, to to answer that question. All right. Um, uh, look for that that high liquidity on the bid and the offer. And uh, the second question is, how does the market behave though when price approaches these areas? So these sellers are they really that interested in selling at at 59? Okay. And we can see that they're not. They're pulling that liquidity here. That's giving us insight. Okay. How about these guys down here that want to buy? Okay. How are they behaving? Well, they're getting pretty aggressive. Right, uh, they're they're starting to um, 
uh, want to buy at higher levels. Okay, uh, you can see them step it up here. Okay, so uh, now we're starting to understand the auction going back and forth. All right? How about these guys? And when we broke through this area down here, okay. Well, we we can answer that question too. These guys stayed in the book. We can see the transactions that took place and the liquidity that was provided here. And uh, you know, some of it was pulled for sure. But look at the look at the dots, okay, and the aggressive selling here, right? So um, uh, these traders, uh, they wanted to be buyers, and they and they got what they wanted, right? They um, uh, let me get my arrow back. Um, they they, uh, they were buyers at these levels, and uh, and sellers took them on and uh, completed that transaction here and here. All right. Okay, now let's get into that third question. Okay, uh, what uh, is the tape telling us? The traded volume. Okay, uh, and uh, what kind of clues does this give us here to what's going on? Okay, well we can see a lot of selling came in. All right, uh, we're now we're starting to see though um, some some buying interest pop back in, uh, especially lifting the offer uh, in this little area here. All right at this fifty eight and three quarters okay uh, but sellers are still they're they're still just uh, hitting the bid here you know hitting the bid through all right uh, okay so so in, in in terms of reading the tape um, uh, it's up to you, uh, but um, uh, we're looking at where these transactions are taking place, and uh, that's kind of the uh, the key uh, here. Uh, and uh, and what type of transactions are taking place? Are, you know, the, we're using aggressor classification of this traded volume, which just means uh, if it's a um, uh, a market sell, it's going to be a red dot. If it's a market buy, it's going to be a green dot. Okay, and it's aggressive because they wanted it and they cross the spread to pay for it. Whereas these other traders uh, in, the, um, in the limit order book, uh, they're waiting at their levels uh, to deal. They want a specific price, right? They don't have to, they can wait for it. They don't, they don't want to get in right away. All right, so anyway, uh, let's see here. Let's see, what is our, let's go through our, our three questions again, all right? So, uh, well, we saw them starting to pull, but then they they, they um, uh, j jump back in here with high liquidity uh, at 59, uh, and then uh, they actually pulled in this area here, uh, as you can see. Okay, so uh, our aggressive buyers uh, they they got cold feet right in this area here. Okay, and they're still getting cold feet. Notice this area here now at 57 and a half. Okay, but now they're lining up here at 57. Okay. Now our other area of interest was down here at 54 and a, and a half. Okay, we're starting to see some buyers come in here down at uh, at 55 and a half. All right. Okay, majority of it though, looking at the tape, we're still seeing more selling than buying. Okay, at the moment. Okay, just uh, look at the uh, the red dots here taking place, uh, and um, uh, more uh, trading uh, taking place at lower lows. I'm looking for a continuation to, con you know, to for price discovery to the to the downside here. Okay, and that's usually how uh, uh, the tape uh, operates uh, in in giving us insight. Okay, uh, in a trending market, you will especially see that. Okay, more volume trading at lower lows. And then at these lower highs, you'll see points of exhaustion take place here. Look at the look at the aggressive buying up in this area here. Just all these little just little dots, right? Uh, they're not too interested in buying. Okay. Instead, look at the sellers here. Look at look at where these transactions are taking place. Okay. So I'm looking for further continuation to the downside, and and we got that we got that follow through. Okay. Okay. And um, 
Yeah, they're they're starting to get interested here again. We saw them starting to pop in at 50 uh, 57. Okay. And also this 55 and a half. All right. Uh, let's see questions about the uh, uh, CVD uh, and the um, uh, automated strategies as well. Okay. The um, let's just cl we'll click on this and um, uh, go over a few of these things. Okay. So you can see here that the uh, the API and add-ons uh, configuration. Um, you can add uh, all sorts of new um, indicators. Uh, within this window here, your, your custom indicators. You can have them written, you can write them yourselves. Uh, it's Java-based, uh, and, um, uh, and we, we're showcasing a few examples for you. Okay? We have the cumulative volume delta. Uh, we have uh, some automated trading strategies. We have the chase, escape, and execute. All right, uh, and um, let's just go through the cumulative volume delta, all right? And uh, what are we what are we showing here? Okay, so um, I'll click on this. Okay, so if you're um, familiar with the cumulative volume delta, uh, you know what it is. It's just adding uh, the um, uh, aggressor classification of that volume. If it's a market sell, uh, it's it's going to be a negative one. If it's one one contract. Right. If all of a sudden then you have a market buy for one contract, uh, it will balance out and your cumulative volume delta will be zero. Okay. Uh, and uh, and that just it just accumulates all day long. All right. And uh, and you can see the selling here that has taken place. Okay. So that's that's actually matching pretty nicely with our, our volume dots as we can see here. Okay. More and more selling, lower lows on the uh, cumulative volume delta here. All right, um, and uh, there's all sorts of different settings that you can um, uh, place here within your cumulative volume delta. Okay, we're going to go through uh, just the the basic setting here, uh, and um, uh, just showing the the overall since I opened up my book map. Okay. Uh, you have the options for uh, to reset it. Uh, you can reset it now. You can add a reset uh, whenever you like uh, as well, and it will go back to zero at that point. Okay. What that allows you to do uh, is study specific areas. Okay. So if you're looking for a zone uh, and you, you want to know what that volume delta uh, is in that zone. All right. Uh, and you can see here we have actually two lines. We have the blue and this green line here. So the blue line is this CVD that is um, uh, 13 lots. So let me click on this one. And you can see we have a, a filter on it here. Okay, The minimum accountable uh, volume size, uh, we have it set for 13. Okay. Uh, and this is, uh, uh, I believe, what um, FT71 is, is currently using with the, uh, the S&P E-mini. Uh, and you also have a filter for the maximum uh, as well. Okay. So with the uh, minimum um, volume size, uh, it's showing the minimum volume of 13. If a 13 uh, or, or more contracts traded, then uh, this will make the computation. And you can see the computation here in the little widget window. Okay, you can see the CVD for the 13 lot is negative uh, 3,200, and the regular CVD is uh, 6,500. All right, so um, uh, you can see the difference here. Now, why why uh, why go through this difference? Okay, what is it, what is it showing me? It's showing me what the the behavior is with the larger traders. Okay, larger traders are going to be using um, a larger size uh, uh, with their with their contract size. Okay, so uh, we're we're making a distinction. So we're getting insight to how they are behaving uh, in the um, uh, aggressive um, uh, volume, right? And we're comparing and con contrasting that to everything else. Okay, so this would include all of your smaller traders as well. All right. 
and um, uh, we can see that uh, actually they're not you know they're they're starting to um, uh, perhaps uh, uh, you know accumulate uh, position here so you notice how we had the crossover here okay they were aggressive here uh, and then it's at, at this point right here right we can see it uh, this is where we have a flip okay, in our two lines okay so now uh, we have uh, them uh, uh, starting to, uh, you know, they're not, they're not uh, hitting the bid as as much as the uh, um, the smaller traders, okay, or the smaller lot size. Okay, so it's up to you uh, how how you want to integrate that if you're looking for a specific level, uh, and um, uh, and then you're looking for maybe absorption in your cumulative volume delta, okay, with limit orders. Uh, then you're going to look for a divergence in that price, okay, or in the in the uh, output here in the in the volume delta. Okay, uh, yeah. Question here on the the smaller circles and what I'm what I'm showing here. Okay, so click on the um, uh, the sprocket here, and uh, and you'll see the um, uh, different um, uh, icons that you can uh, show or hide the indicator. Okay, so uh, the um, uh, bar uh, chart uh, icon here it will will display uh, in the indicator panel here. Okay, uh, the um, uh, the volume delta uh, for that study. Okay, or uh, this one here is for the widget uh, panel here. So if I click on that, then you can see that I don't have it any longer. All right. You also have the um, uh, ability here to look at circles or you can look at lines as well or bars okay and if you want to um, uh, change some of the settings you can click on that and you're back to this window here that is the same as clicking on this button up the API button up here and then your volume delta okay all right well we've got our continuation to the downside okay from uh, uh, reading our, our tape okay and um, uh, the uh, uh, let's see what is that auction telling us here well we can see them get really aggressive in this area here uh, and then we can see the uh, the lack of the buying up in this area this was their chance for the bulls uh, to take this higher and they, they really just didn't um, uh, put anything into it at all uh, you can see the lack of buying at this uh, uh, 58 and three quarters here okay so book maps showing you that uh, pretty pretty nicely pretty clearly okay so reading our tape uh, and we can see the uh, uh, price discovery to the downside here. All right now we're starting to get you know down to our level of interest around our 54 area. Uh, we're still we still got a, a few points to go, uh, but um, uh, we can see that uh, some buying is starting to come in. We look at 56 here. Okay, they're starting to get interested. All right. 55 has been in here for a while. Now they're they're they started to pull and they're they're now they're back in. Okay, at 55. Okay, but look at it again. This is this is this is what's called a flip of the book. Okay, uh, looking for uh, they were on the um, on the bid, uh, but now they're aggressively on the offer. Okay, uh, so uh, they want to be sellers here aggressively uh, in these areas. Okay. The, the swing was up here, right? But they're down here, okay? So, um, uh, and uh, now we're now let's read that behavior. Now we're starting to approach this area here. And let me, as I zoom in, we'll need to adjust our map a little bit, okay? Yeah, pretty high liquidity here, okay? A few levels of it as well. Okay, and they're staying, they're staying in the book. 56 is staying though here as well. They did pull right in this little area, but they're right back in now. Okay, look at the aggressive behavior here at 57, jumping in. Okay, now these guys are starting to pull. Okay, now we have the opportunity to come up here and test this 59 area. Okay, let's see the aggressive buying take place. And we can uh, maybe we can get a push up into this. Uh, Oh, uh, well, at least 58 and a half, huh? Uh, the um, uh, Christopher, the um, uh, these are 
uh, the book and volume, volume imbalances here, uh, these are um, uh, add-on indicators, uh, and it's showing the, um, the overall book here from this current view. You'll note that if I zoom in, we'll get a, we'll get a different reading um, uh, because it's making different calculation, but it, it, we're looking at the um, uh, bids versus the offers, okay? And then we get a skew in it, okay? Volume is the same thing. It's just for this current view. Uh, but you can see that uh, uh, we have more selling than we do buying. All right, and uh, we're in we're in a you know in a downtrend at the moment, so that's really no no surprise. Okay, all right, guys. Well, I didn't get a chance to to get to the uh, automated strategies. We'll do that tomorrow. Uh, but we did go through the uh, cumulative volume delta and uh, started to to look at the uh, uh, different settings. Uh, and relate it to the uh, the price action that we're viewing here. Okay, so uh, let's uh, let's wrap it up. Uh, I'll show you where you can find those recorded webinars. Okay, they are here under in the members area here under this education tab. Click on the link here, uh, and then uh, click on the playlist for others up in the upper left hand corner. Okay, this webinar will be up there in about um, an hour, hour and a half or so. Uh, and um, uh, if you want to give Bookmap a try, uh, this is uh, new new data here, new information, a 30% discount. Uh, so, um, uh, yep, you can uh, uh, receive that if you purchase in the next three days. All right. Thanks, guys. Thanks for coming. We'll catch up with you tomorrow.